Hello everyone and welcome back. In 2024, I decided to start 3D printing and building some of my favorite robots from films. I remember seeing Star Wars at a drive-in theater when I was a kid, and these two robots made a huge impact on my life. So it makes sense to start with these guys. I'm planning to build both robots as animatronics and not static props. So let's get started building C-3PO. I started this whole process by searching for all the individual parts which can be found on various websites. I unpacked and assembled them in the program ZBrush. I started the month-long process of printing them using two printers. It's a time-consuming process and will always require a lot of cleanup at the end of the day. But there's something freeing as a builder having the files already made for you. I decided to work my way up from his feet, then moving up to the torso, head, and then arms and hands. The files are designed to be worn as a suit, so I made some modifications to some of the parts. I also cut up several of the models into smaller pieces so I could fit flat sides together with less seams. With the legs completed, I moved on to the pants. It took a lot to get this printed, as one of my printers started to clog. Eventually, I got it printed, but will need some Bondo. At this point, I needed some internal support while I was working on it, so I built a PVC structure. That way, I can assemble the parts loosely together to check on misalignments. I figured while the larger parts were printing, I could batch print the detailed parts on my resin printer. A failed print on the torso led me to splitting it into two parts. Using different support selections in the slicer software will give you different results. I found that tree supports work for some parts and fail for others. It takes some experimentation to get it right for each part. Seeing C-3PO take shape got me excited, so I decided to start printing his head. I used my bamboo printer as it has high resolution for an FDM printer, but I still had blobs and stuff I'll have to repair during the finishing process. Onward to the back of the head. Once the two parts came together, I really felt as though I was in the presence of C-3PO. I got so excited I had my wife hold a flashlight in his head so I could see a little light in his eyes. I was really happy with how it was all going, so I moved on to designing the animatronic hands I wanted to try and 3D print molds to pour silicone into. This would provide me silicone gloves to fit over the mechanics. Once the molds were printed, I bolted them and poured in some very soft silicone. While that was drying, I printed all the little nurnies for the hands and fingers. After a few hours, the silicone was cured and ready for demolding. After some gentle prying with a screwdriver, the molds opened to a really cool glove. I spent a little time trimming off the flashing from the edges where the molds meet using a pair of cuticle scissors. Moving on, I spent a good deal of time on the designs of the finger movement. The original design for Anthony Daniels, the actor who played the role, didn't have much movement so I just went for a little more motion than he had. The second joint looked to me like it wasn't designed to bend. The design is simple and uses cords running down through the fingers to a servo to actuate slight movement in the fingers. Overall, I'm happy with the design, but I won't really know how well it works until I get it all assembled, which will be in another video. The final odds and ends parts include his back, shoulder pieces, and his arm nernies. This project, like all the projects slated for this movie robot collection, is huge and it could take months to years to complete them all. Hopefully this will be a multiple part series, with less episodes to conclude each build. This is my commitment to making more frequent content. 
As always, leave any questions in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. Until next time, happy building.